Welcome to MFAA On Air. When James Green joined Century 21 Home Loans, he had successfully helped raise the lead sell-through rate at his previous company to 83%. Green talked to MFAA On Air about his top six tips for cross-selling and the traits that make a credit advisor a successful cross-seller. Broking is an advice business with credit advisors, so on and so forth, and, and a lot of the advice proposition is inbound. So it's to build rapport by asking good questions, getting to understand the customer and identifying what they need. With a real estate business model, the value proposition has to become more profound. It needs to be presented very quickly in a very honest and transparent way that, that doesn't scare off a very educated and, and sophisticated customer but it allows them immediately to connect with your value proposition for them to actually give you some of their time. The second tip I would, I would say is enhance the value of your partner. You need to park almost your ego to the side and you need to be all about your partner and strengthening their business. So that their business looks better and so that they feel like they need you in their team. It's identifying other opportunities where you can also generate additional revenue. When you're going through someone's asset liability statement and you identify they have multiple investment properties, you should, you should position straight back to them. Why don't you speak to said agent about combining all your property management with that agent and they might be able to do it for cheaper for you. Would you like me to have a word with them for you and get them to give you a call because I reckon we can save money here. I reckon we can do it smarter. We can have one person dealing with it and a much cleaner way to do it. When you're dealing with that customer, giving them a great experience, but getting that customer to say to that new agent that you haven't worked with, to say to them, you should deal with that broker because that broker, he's great and therefore expanding your referral network because you're taking on these, you're being referred in by your customers into this new agent. And you can also do it with the accountant and the conveyancer and your business grows a lot faster than traditional models, and the more inbound referral style models. And, and the fifth one is, you know, pay a commission, but a fair commission. Um, I, I would recommend on a real estate referral, um, 15% up front to an, an agency and 10% and up front and trail to the, to the office. When you're recruiting for this space, if, you, if you're going to be recruiting for this space, you know, you are recruiting a different type of, of broker. Providing that they have rapport and confidence and in, you know, that their business practices are in the spirit of being a trusted advisor. You know, you don't want a boiler room type situation because that's a short lived situation. You want um, high quality uh, a person that can connect quickly with people. What I would say, the, the, the term I would use is win within the first three feet. Beside personality profile, which it, it, that isn't the exact science, the one that is, uh, is a definite you would need in this space is someone highly motivated and wanting to take on more business. Joining LinkedIn is a great way to start networking with potential referral partners. Once you've signed up, search MFAA to join the MFAA members group. You've been watching MFAA On Air.